What's up, you two? It's shit, it's shit, it's shit, boy. Mr. Mr. Jackson, let us. What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? Right now, you're hanging with Mr. Jackson. We back to an NBA 2K action. Y'all already know I'm already retired from 2K. I know in my last video, I said August. I meant to say October 5th. Today is October 6th, the next day. And I'm doing a reaction to this video right here, man. Why NBA 2K doesn't feel the same anymore? I was feeling like that since 2K20, y'all. Since 2K2, 2K19, I like 2K19. I love 2K19. But since 2K20, and he's going to be talking about 2K16 too, y'all. 2K16, y'all already know, is my favorite 2K. I still play that, play 2K16 to this day offline. I got gameplay in the playlist. If y'all want to see it offline, I hit 99 overall. The only bad thing about 2K16, yo. Even though it's offline, yo, it still be crash. I don't know how it's offline, but it do still crash, y'all. But um, enough of that, yo. Let's go ahead and get in this video, man. See what they talking about, man. Let's see what's up. NBA 2K21 next gen. <sighs> Honestly, y'all, I'm very disappointed. I haven't had a 2K like this since NBA 2K18. This shit is just down bad tremendous. This shit is just tried. This shit is just ass. This game is at its fucking worst right now, bro. I don't want to play the fucking game anymore. <laughs> it's getting worse. And the game is getting worse, and I'm really worried that if it continues to get worse, number one, it's going to die super quickly in this year. And number it two, is. I'm kind of finally reaching the point where I'm just like, I think I'm going to finish, be done uploading my two content. NBA 2K just doesn't feel the same anymore. It seems like every year when the new 2K comes out, everyone is calling it the yeah. worst one. But That's true. Oh, that 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 me. That's there me. was a time when people loved 2K. And we're mm -hmm. excited for the new one to come out every year. So what do the old games have that the new ones don't? Let's compare the newer 2K games to a game like 2K16, which is universally loved That's by 2K. Community. To find out why 2K doesn't feel the same anymore, I'm going to start out by listing the biggest reasons why people love 2K16 and hate the new ones. And I can't think of a more important reason than the game balancing. And I mean more specifically in my... I, I put it like this. 2K16, man. You had to have basketball iq and you had to have skills about basketball i mean you got you, you had to already know about basketball y'all on, on 2k16 man and you had you had to have skills with the controller and playing the game y'all because just like i said when i first started playing 2k16 I, I i i started with a point guard and then i trained myself over time to play with a powerful because my group didn't have a big man so they made me the big man and after it took me a little while to get the, the skill down pack for a power for y'all. And once I got that down, yo, we was going on 30 games, 50 games winning the streets, y'all. Killing everybody, y'all. I remember that day I hit Legend 3, baby. But never that, get back into it. Part. A lot of this video is going to be talking about my part. And that's because, to be honest, that's mainly what I played. And also, yeah, most of the play. problems that I can see with 2K have to do with my part. So the first thing that I've realized by looking back at the different games... Back then, yeah, I played um, um, I played more part, but I played a lot of my career, too. I played both. That's how much I love the game. That's how much I was addicted to the game on 2K16. I played both. But, you know, when 2K20 came out, all the way to 25, um, I played this uh, my career, really, y'all. I was into my career, but... It just got it just got, it just got worse and worse. From I, I can say from two K seventeen all the way up to two K twenty five, I started getting mostly into um my career. Two K sixteen was like the last year I played like hardcore my part. I mean uh yeah my part y'all. After that, it was mostly my career. In the way that people viewed them, is the balancing of the gameplay and the different builds. Balancing is so important because yep, it's it is. like. The foundation of all the gameplay. People don't come to 2K to get tattoos and to look at the cool my part designs. Nope. They come to play Your the game. arch class so match the game up, y'all. Yeah. The arch class match the game up. And if you have bad balancing, it doesn't matter what else you do to the game. People are not going to have fun with it, and they're nope. not going to like it. And it goes the other way too. If everything else was dog shit, but the gameplay was good and fair and balanced, and people had fun, I don't think people would complain nearly as much. Me and I think that's proven with 2K16. The balancing was fair and fun in 2K16, and for the past few years, there have been so many builds that are just broken and OP 
which not only makes you see the same thing every time, which gets so boring, but also it means you can't play any of the builds, because if you do, you're at a huge disadvantage. And I think you can already picture a few builds in your head from the past few years that have been so broken that it's not even funny. The one that comes to my mind is the Playmaking Shock Creator. That thing is so fucking broken. <laughs> and the annoying thing was, there was a whole strategy to it. Where in 3v3s in my park, there would be at least one place. See, I don't really know about that. Just, just, this year was the first year I, I made a um, Power 4 and it had Shock Creator in it. Yo, every year I made a Power 4 from 2K16, yeah, and never had Shock Creator. But this year, I made a Power 4 it's Shock Creator. Um, shot creator, um, th uh, three level score. Like, what the heck? You could tell they'd be messing with the game when you <laughs> just come out with a new build you ain't never saw before. Why would a powerful hat shot created in it? <laughs> I just try to make a shooting build, you ain't got shot created in it. I'm like, what the heck? That's new. Shot on the team, and they would have their two teammates go sit in the corners. The play shot would just dribble the whole shot clock out for 20 I hate, seconds. I hate people like that. Break your ankles or something to get a shot up. I hate it's people like that. Boring, infuriating it take, gameplay. Of it all take time. forever to Not get games, team, man. But for I'm, the other I guys, mean, make like, the game longer. Imagine being the two other people sitting there in the corner for yeah. the whole game. I mean, how boring is that? That's real that boring. Like a minor I like quick games. Quick games. Deal. I don't remember anything like that in 2K16, and it felt like generally. There was not one just broken build that you had to choose. People could pick the ones they want and play the way they wanted to, and you could win in many different ways. Yeah, because which made it so much more fun. And that actually leads me to another problem, which is that when they made something that's bad, like having these annoyingly broken builds that people just abuse the fuck out of, they don't even fix them. Like they don't balance nope. anything. They just leave them there, and then maybe if you're lucky. By the next I know the post score is bit, um, broken this year. So you got to deal with the same broken, annoying meta every game for the whole year, and they do nothing to improve the balancing of it. In my opinion, the gameplay of the My Park has gone down in the past eight years somehow. It just seems like with NBA 2K, you're lucky if things even stay the same because yeah, most of the quality they change will go down stuff over every time year. somehow. You know, you would stuff think that's not that broken. every year as the team gets more experience and more information about what makes a good NBA game. And what people like that they would make a better game. Look but at that, y'all. just travel. Just don't fucking care. All right, let's move on to the next major reason that I think the game has gotten so much worse since 2K16. The microtransactions. And like, I know, yeah, they already had that kind of stuff before. Like, you could already pay for VC and shit, but it's gotten so much worse. Worse. I mean, I'll just start by saying, I don't know if this is true or not, but it always seems like. Yo, it, it take by, um, I can say. Yeah, it take about over a hundred dollars just to get your character to eighty five. <laughs> if you want to get them right off the rip, yo. If you want to get it right off the rip, it's a hundred dollars to get your character to eighty five, y'all. And it used to be like that back in the day. Back in the day, you could just pay fifty to get your character to eighty five. And now it take longer to get to ninety nine. If somebody did a no VC spent thing. It took it took them four seasons to get to ninety nine. Every year, that time. it becomes harder and harder, and takes longer to get your guy to a ninety nine <laughs> by just playing. And it really feels like that two K is trying to make it as hard and unfun as possible yep. to grind to become a decent rank, so that you can enjoy the game actually, just so that you'll spend money on the game. And it doesn't help that the my career is never anything different. It and I remember we used to get to like a, a 88 overall. Your, your character used to feel so good. Yo, we used to get to now your character guy gets to like at least a 93 just for him to play good. It's boring. Like I know everybody feels it. My career is not really that fun to play. People only do it like a job to get your guy ranked up. I get that ranking your person up. In See, that's not me. I used to love my career. He he see he a my part player, y'all. He a player versus play player. Me, I'd rather play my I I rather play against the AI than play against other people because you know other people I I think it's always it's always a way you could cheese, yo. It's always a way you could cheat. And just like I say, in these in these new two Ks with these art class with these arts classes, yo, you could always come up with a cheese built that why I don't really play player versus player no more because it's it's no fun there either. Like when you play uh online, it's no fun, yo. 
he 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 proven it himself. He just figured that check out himself. It been like that. He just figured it out. It been like that, y'all. In any game, it's going to be hard and take time, but it should at least be fun. That's why you're playing the game. Not to mention that we all know that if you go into my park with a fucking brown shirt and you're 60 overall, <laughs> nobody is going to play with you. Like you feel like you get ostracized for not spending money on the game when you just put $70 <laughs> into the game to buy it. But if you don't put money into upgrading your character like right away, people don't want to play with you. No. Nope. And it literally feels like you're being backed into a corner. Like you pay this money to play with us. Or you can be relegated to playing my career for a whole fucking month just to get your guy ranked up enough where you're not a liability on the court. <laughs> Since 2K16, the greed and the microtransactions have gotten insane. I mean, if you look anywhere on the fucking screen, there's a ton of ads anywhere. I mean, if I didn't know any better, by looking at the 2K screen, I would think that I'm on some website trying to pirate a movie. Because I've never seen so many ads on a fucking screen. And that's really sad <laughs> considering that you're paying $70 for a game. I know. Doing this. I mean, that's I can't crazy. even think of all the ways that 2K tries to charge money for things. I mean, there's the game by itself. And then, of course, you can get, like, the upgraded package every year. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your VC that you can pay for. Baby. And then there's a battle that's pass That's 170 right there. You got to pay like, automatic. my team, too. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's so annoying that you pay so much money for a video game. And you can't even enjoy it without nope. them throwing shit in your face trying to make you give them more money. So those are the two major things that I've noticed that I think make the biggest impact on why 2K16 feels so much better and different than the new ones. The microtransactions and the greed and the balancing of the gameplay. Those two things are so important and they've changed so much since that amazing game. But there are also some smaller things that aren't as important, but I think they're worth mentioning. Like the music. The music, in my opinion, is so much better in the older games and the new ones, it's just like, I just want to mute the fucking music. It's terrible. <laughs> no. Also, the UI and the menu screens were just smoother and, and were better yeah, to look at. It was at less. The it was ones. less stuff to and get. finally, through. the My Park, at least in 2G16, I remember that one distinctly. It was so much cooler than anything I've it seen. Was. In the past it was. It was so good. Because you could choose between three different park designs. And then remember you could City travel did, between maybe. them to play different people there. And there was like a leaderboard for each faction. It was so cool. And they all had their distinct, unique designs. They weren't yep. similar at all. Now, that's all the things that I can compare between 2K16 and the newer 2Ks. But there are a few things about 2K as a whole that I just want to complain about because I've never seen anybody talk about this stuff. And it's so infuriating. I don't know how people deal with this. I mean, it feels like every year 2K tries to make it as hard as possible to play without spending money. The yep. main thing that I will never understand about games like 2K is you have to buy a whole new game every single year. There are no other games where I can think that get away with that other than sports games. The only one is Call of Duty, and at least they change it a little bit. But what makes it even worse for sports games like 2K is that they don't change anything. Nope, they, they don't. All they do is add a roster update. Like they, they take them two, two to, uh, every three they years, years to change stuff. They probably take some stuff out. I honestly don't know how they get away with that. That should be illegal. Yeah. And the sad thing is, I can't even blame the community because, like, yeah, you can say, well, you know, if you don't like that, then just don't buy it. But, like, you really don't have a choice. They're the only NBA game there is. And yeah. once the new game comes out, the other ones pretty much die, even the one that just came out last year. So if you want to play NBA, that's the only choice you have. And I just find it absolutely insane that they can make a carbon copy of the game and then sell it again a year later just with just again. a roster update and change pretty much nothing, and everybody just buys it again. And not only that, they don't just buy the game. Like I just said, they, spend they buy extra all money. the microtransactions yep. too. So when you buy a game, <laughs> you buy the $70 game, and then you buy some VC to make your character good. All of that money, that hundreds or thousands of dollars that you put into that game the next year is worthless. You have to do it all over again. They're going to make it worse like, the next year if they make a lot of money. I don't understand how they can do that. Like, when I think about other games, if they were to try to do something like that, the players would go to the company and burn it to the ground. Yeah, it's yeah. so <laughs> ridiculous. I mean, even if games put in just one aspect of what 2K does, like pay to win, people lose their shit. They get so mad, and rightfully so. But somehow, 2K can get away with making the same game every year and making you pay for it, making the game pay to win, and then barely even updating the game when they do release it. I yeah. honestly don't know how, how they get away with that. And I think at this point, people are just so used to it that they're just like, yeah, it sucks, but whatever, we got to do it. But I think they've really forgotten how egregious 
doing something like that actually is. I know I got a little heated at the end there, but that's yeah, you really did. You me. did. All right, that's all I've got for you today. So I'll see you next video. All right, child. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here, man. Y'all can go check him out right here, yo. He, this dude right here, he just got 77 subscribers. Go so, um show him some love, but he doing his thing, yo, at the beginning, man. But he gonna blow up kind of quick, yo. I like the way he do his videos, man. But um, 2K, just like I say, 2K. Y'all know it's that man every year. Twenty, well, tw since 2020. Every every year they, they look at these numbers, y'all. They have they hire market marketing people, and, and they um look for ways to make more money. So that's why they putting all this stuff into 2K, like buy, battle pass, all this stuff. It's like he said, man. You got all these different stuff in there. You shouldn't be coming out every year with a um, new um, 2K. You should just be updating the rosters every year. That's all. Then you can start a whole new my career every year. That should be your season. Your season shouldn't be every month. Your season should be every year on 2K. That's smart thinking. Every year your season, a new season should start every year. And when you, you can start your new my career, and you can start um, playing against um, uh, your um, your part um, online record. You start all that all over every year instead of coming up with a 2K every year. That's all you got to do. I I just fixed the problem for you, 2K. Can I, can I get my check? Huh? Can I get my money, 2K? But um, we're going to go ahead and end it right here, man. Y'all, thanks for um coming on, coming on my last video. Y'all like, do more reactions. We like your reactions. Thanks, y'all, for showing me love. Thanks for giving me an idea, yo. And I see you. I see you. Peace. I'm out. And I'm going to go ahead and like this video, y'all, too, man. Go, go, go check him out, y'all. I'm out, y'all.